Hi YouTube, it's Mary once again. Just gonna make a quick video. I haven't, I've been, you know, chiming in on a lot of uh, different videos and some of them just really vex me, which I shouldn't let that happen, but I don't know, this one lady, she, uh, sister something, sister Carrot, she keeps seeing all these visions and dreams and and I, I really don't think she know the difference between a dream and a vision. But I think she'd be dreaming all this stuff. And then she'd go back and say, is God said? And my question would be to people who say that God said this. What does God sound like? Tell me. I really want to know. Those of you who actually hear God's voice. Let these people, let me and others know what it sounds like because I am getting bare simple. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty and I'm really getting stupid simple. What does God sound like? Then this other guy, uh, what is his name? Franz Scott. Franz Scott something, a black man. He's a peanut head man. But he's sincere, but golly. He, everything has to be a code and a colors. Everything has a meaning. And then you got to add up your day you died and your birthday and all these numbers. And it, it comes up to 36 and he said that's 666. But he acts like he just learned how to add and subtract. And all of these codes, when people talk about codes and visions... Now, I, I, I do see visions. I do have dreams that do come true. But I don't go out and say that God showed me a vision. God this. And my visions, they were coming, they, they come true so much until I, I actually told my God, the universe, I said, don't send me nothing else. If you have something to tell me, Make it plain because I don't want to decipher nothing and I don't want to, and don't show me nothing about nobody because if I see it's about somebody else, it's for me. But I don't understand these people that's saying God told them something. I, I had a woman a long time ago. She, I guess she saw my light. I don't know what she saw, but. She asked me what church I go to, and they had they all Christians always do it. What church you go to? I said I don't go to church. What? Uh, you don't believe in God? I said no, I don't believe in God. I know God, and I told a male preacher that he was so mad he wanted to just run me through. But the thing about knowing something is different than believing. I have to know, and I know God. And then the difference between knowing something, I mean, you could know how to do something. Oh, how? I know, I know, K-N-O-W. I know, I know, I know how to cook, I know how to clean, I know how to sew, I know, I know, I know. But... Knowing versus understanding. Do you understand? Of all of this, get understanding. Because when you get understanding, you know why. And I, I used to have a teacher a long time ago. When she taught, everything she would teach me. She would say, Mary, we do this, so and so and so. When you get through this, you put this here. Because if you don't, this will happen. And it made me say, oh, that's a that's a good reason. And it gives you, um, when something breaks down, you have this method in your gut to come up with creativity to fix it because you know why this is doing this. But people, people don't impress me when they say, I know how, I know how. You need to know why. And I'm working on it. I'm learning so much about myself because there was a woman 
maybe four or five years ago, we had a great big falling out about some things. And I had just gotten tired of her. She would keep doing the same thing. And so I just deleted everything about her. But last week I was cleaning out my closet and I found some notebooks that she made me. Beautiful notebooks with all sorts of encouraging words. And do you know my heart just broke. I got contrite and I cried, I cried, I cried. I said, God, why did I do that? Why did, how come I couldn't fix that before it got to that point? I mean, I was just boohooing. And I had to go and find her number because I had blocked her from all of my sources. But I, I asked her to forgive me for that. And I explained to her why I did that. But when I did it, I didn't know why. But it was a combination of pain and a combination of steroids. The only time they were experimenting with steroids and I'm having so much pain. But this woman was aggravating me. And I lost it. But I did ask her for, to forgive me. And right now the relationship is on just, I, I keep myself close to the edge and I keep my anchor hand in case I have to throw it out. But I have to remind her, don't take me to that place. And I'm not going to let you do that. I said, but when you start doing it, I'm going to let you know. I'll say whatever name is, uh, Miss A, I said, you dragging me to that place again. Don't do it. Let's change the subject. And she understands, but she's the type of woman who will ask you a question and then you you give her the answer. It's not like you're trying to tell her what to do, but she feels like you're trying to run her life and she just goes cuckoo. But I told her, I say, Miss A, don't ask me nothing about nothing. Let's just have a conversation and try to move on. I say, because when I give you advice or my opinion, you take it the wrong way. So uh, right now we on a, a, at a good place, but I was so glad she accepted my apology because I didn't have to act like that. Like I told y'all earlier, I deal with uh, anger issues and I'm getting so much better. Thank God for that. I'm getting better, but I'm learning that and uh, I'm learning how to say what I have to say, even if I come in on somebody's page. It's still constructive criticism and it's too many people are following these people and these people are leading them wrong and I'm not trying to get anybody to follow me but I, I may make a comment and then I'm surprised that other people see what I see but they they're afraid to say something like this black man oh what's his name friend shot he will call a color that's really red. He'll say it's purple. He'll say blue. He'll say blue is purple. And and he just stuck on col colors. And somehow these colors have something to do with, uh, I guess it's the Illuminati and then the numbers are 666. He's really making this part of our life really complicated. And he's not the only one that came up with some kind of numerology or some color. People have been saying the world is coming to an end since Jesus died. Do you know the disciples were looking for him to come back in their lifetime? They were disappointed. Paul, all of them was looking to the skies. So it's nothing new under the sun. But just, just you got to go within. And I'm nine minutes, God, I didn't intend to vent like this. But I'm coming up with something different on my channel. I got a whole lot of items and I'm going to try to upload more videos and present <laughs> as much as I can. Try to be sane and, and unemotional. That's that's the thing. But today I, I did get kind of emotional with these people, this sister Carrie and all these visions and stuff. And how you gonna be in a vision and it, it lasts, your vision lasts 15 to 20 minutes because your visions, the least little distraction will knock you out of your vision. I've had visions. It don't work like that. I don't know. I think the girl be dreaming. I don't know what she be doing. They talking about zombies and 
people who get the shot, they gonna die. I had all three shots. I'm not dead. I'm not dying. But I am going to die. The reason why I'm going to die is because I am living. I had a man on a, a big time radio host. He was going to interv interview me for my book. And he asked me in front of a panel, he said, if anybody took the booster shot, I, said, I raised my hand. Yeah, I did. He said, oh, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die from that shot. And I plumb forgot that this man had the authority <laughs> to put me on his radio show. But I, I looked at him and say, I'm going to die because I took the booster shot. Yeah, you're going to die. You, you, not, you haven't kept up with it. I said, well, if the booster shot is going to kill me, what about the other two vaccines before then? Well, no, it's just a booster shot. And I called him by his name. I am not say his name, but he really disappointed me. I said, do you know why I'm going to die? It's because I'm living. Everything that lives dies. It got nothing to do with the shot. Man. But he was really put out with me, and I haven't heard anything from him since. But I have to speak my truth. On the top of the mount, on the mountain tops, or in the valley, I don't care, and I—it's just my truth. I don't believe in God. I know God because I know myself. In every situation, when I push the panic button and I don't understand, that's an opportunity for me to know more about myself. And I'm learning so much more. Oh, God, I'm learning so much. I'm, I'm turning myself inside out and getting in the corners of the pockets and pulling out junk. Say, oh, Mary, look at where that come from. So learn yourself. Know yourself. And then you'll know God. Okay? Bye, guys.